Hello everyone, it's Mari here for Honeybee Stamps. I'm going to be using these two die sets today to create an A2 size card. The die set on the right is the Terracotta Planters die set. It's very cool. And the die set that was on the right there was the Lovely Layers Strawberries dies. And I'm starting off here with the Terracotta Planters. I'm going to be using this little planter here that you can see I'm ink blending. I'm using some aqua colored ink on this planter. And you can just see that there's actually two dies here. You can layer these together, which is fun. The front die there, the front die cut has the holes in it so that you can actually have plants coming outside of that as well. Now, I did colorize the the smaller planter as well, but I'm only going to be using this one. You can see I'm using darker ink on the layer that goes in behind just to add that little bit of contrast. And I'm also adding a little bit of darker ink around the outside edges as well, just to give this a little bit of depth and interest. There you can see how that looks with that inking done. I'm going to ink up all of the base layers for the foliage and the strawberries as part of the strawberries set. And so I'm just just using a lighter green here to start off with and then I'll go in with a darker green just to add a little bit of edging of that darker green again just to add some depth and contrast. I will say that there is a little sheet that comes along with this die set that shows you how to put this all together and I'll show that when it comes to assembling the strawberries together but you can see here that this base layer for all the berries and the foliage here is really easy to colorize and just allows you to add some green ink to the foliage pieces before you add the strawberries over top. Now these are all the berry toppers that go on top of that those base layers of berries. I'm adding a little bit of kind of like a deep pink and then a red to add a little bit of the, the dense depth to the color here so you can just see I'm doing that here with a detailed brush I'm not using my honeybee brushes here because my honeybee brushes are all dedicated to oxide ink oxide inks and I'm using dye inks for this process so I keep saying this but I need to do it I need to buy myself another set of honeybee brushes just for dye inks so here you can see the little blossoms I'm just using sort of like a really pale yellow and a darker yellow for the centers and this is a guide sheet it works really Really well it shows you step by step how to put these all together really easy to do and I you can just see here I'm adding my honeybee liquid glue here to the backs of these berries they lay over top perfectly and then the little uh, stem pieces the little green stems that go at the top of the berries overlay over top of that so really great and then of course you've already added the green ink to the the top stems so that is just perfect and that is the reasoning for using the green ink on those bases now you can just see how these little blossoms fit perfectly over those green bases works really well and I just love this I'm obsessed with the strawberry dye the strawberry set of dyes I think it's so fun and I love strawberries I love the colors that you can use with them and they're just so pretty and just a beautiful beautiful plant to work with now these clay pots are genius as they work with the strawberries so what I'm going to do is I'm going to separate the two layers with some foam adhesive here and layer them together in that way that's just going to give a little more realism and 3d effect to the clay pot and I'll just put those two layers together and then I'm just going to mess around with how I want the berries to look there and I just kind of have fun putting them in and and uh, just kind of playing around with them and fiddling and you can do whatever you want how, whatever sort of arrangement of your berries you can die cut these out several times I just used a single die set die cut set for my arrangement but you could die cut these a few times so that you have lots of different options and you can snip them apart if you want lots of different ways that you can you can use these so I just had fun just kind of playing around making a pleasing arrangement to my eye and then what I did was I took my press and foil uh, not press and foil <laughs> my um, press and seal uh, plastic wrap and I put it over top and just um, picked all of that up and I'll show you that in a minute I'm also going to be using the happy hearts paper pad and the 
a gorgeous 3D embossing folder spring medley. This is the embossing folder here. I've cut that down just a little bit smaller than my A2 size card base. And I did cut just a little piece of gingham green paper just to go down kind of at the bottom, just as a place for my little ter my pot, my terracotta pot to sit. And of course I didn't color my terracotta pot the terracotta color. I used aqua just to mix it up, but it is in fact that terracotta dye obviously that I used for that. Now there you can see how I used that press and seal. I just pressed it right down on top of all of those die cut pieces and it picked them all up as one piece. And now I can just flip that over while they're held in place and add my adhesive on the other side. And the adhesive is going to stick everything together essentially by laying it all down together at the same time. And so what I'm also going to do is just, I'm gonna press this down, I'm gonna press that foam adhesive really well into my card base, and then I'm just gonna gingerly peel it back a little bit, and that's gonna reveal the little pieces on the front that aren't adhered yet, and then as I peel that back, I'll just add my adhesive. So I'll add a little bit of liquid adhesive in places, I'll add some foam adhesive as well, wherever I feel like I want that little bit of dimension. And in that way, I'll get those top pieces added to the terracotta pot as well so that by the time I'm finished here, everything is going to be adhered to that pot or to the card base. So just a really easy process to put that together. Again, you can just see here, I'm also going to be using a little bit of liquid adhesive where I don't want the foam adhesive and that's going to be perfect and finish that off. I'll just continue that process all the way up as that um, press and seal is removed. Now I'm just going to put this into my splat box and add a little bit of white splatter over top just to add that just that little brilliant bright beautiful finish on the card and I'll let that dry once I've got that all done and now I'm going to add the sentiment. The sentiment is hot foiled using the foil script love set. This is brand new. It's a set of hot foil plates and dies that coordinate. I used some black foil, hot foil to create the the black sentiment there. Big hugs and I love how this turned out. I did link up in the description box below friends to all of the products that I've used for my project today so make sure you check that out and shop the honeybee shop for any of these different products. Thanks for watching friends. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.